Hola, I know that my behavior lately hasn't been very Islamic. Hey, you better sh And I know that how I've been acting hasn't been very becoming of who I am as a person. You see money on the table? Oh? But if you would just show your mercy upon me and your grace, I promise to become a better Muslim. I start by making all my prayers on time, especially my Fajr Salah. Assalamu alaikum, brother Muhammad. Well, like my son, brother Ali. How you How doing? Are you? I'm, oh, I'm good. good. I'm good. How you doing? Good. Good. I'm just out here, you know, making salat outside, you know. Well, that's good. Yeah. Are you gonna see um, Sheikh Abdullah tonight? Oh, I want to. Oh man, that's one of my favorite shakes. But you know, I can't do it tonight. Why not? Everyone's coming. I know. I just I have something important to do. What do you have to do? I'm going to make Fajr slide. Well, Fajr's not until tomorrow. That's a good point. But you know, I'm just trying to just focus my life and do things better than what I did before. Well, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that if you knew the benefits of Fajr Salat, you would come even if you had to fall. Wise words. Whew. Thanks a lot, Brother Ali. You're welcome. Inshallah, I'll see you tomorrow. As salamu alaykum. As alaykum as I'm going to Look at your day. How do you spend your day? You'll be surprised. How, if you manage your time properly, you will see where you are wasting your time. Everything has got to be negotiable so that it is productive. You got to do that with your Salah. The first thing I tell anybody to do with the Salah is build your life around the Salah and not your Salah around the life. Because if you try to build your Salah around your life or your job or whatever, it seems like you can never get it in. Alhamdulillah. How was work? Oh, it was good. Did you eat all your good. food? Good, Alhamdulillah. Are yes, you hungry? Yes. I'm cooking right now. Not really. Actually, I just want to go get some sleep. Oh, yeah. no, no. There's this, this great lecture, this new lecture that I want to um, watch and uh -huh. with you because the kids are sleeping and the uh -huh. older kids are upstairs playing video games. Yeah. I know you got to be hungry. I'm going to go heat up your food right now. No, no, I'll be right not. back. Exactly like okay. Hey, Mom, you should play this for me a 2K14 game I just got right now. Really? Yeah, LeBron's going crazy on the game. I'm like undefeated with him online right now. Yeah, he's still playing me right now. Right he got to eat first because I know he's hungry. He, he, he needs to play with me right now. Just play one quick match. I just have time to do that. Just play one quick match for me. I know you're hungry. I'm like 16 years old. Wow. Time to go to sleep. Allah by your name, I die and I live. Please forgive me for my sins.
you think you're very strong, you, you can lift, lift your blanket for Salatul Fajr, then you will be strong. Build your life around the prayer. Establish it inside of you that I'm going to make Fajr, Dur, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, wherever I'm at. My brothers and sisters, against your laziness or mine, against the coziness of your bed, against whatever you are doing in the mall or at your workplace or enjoying with your family, stop everything at the time of Salah and quickly fulfill your Salah. If a person doesn't offer Salah, there are chances your faith can become weak or it can even get lost. Because the human being thinks that the well-being and honor that he has is due to the worldly material things. And he goes away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Sajda, Allah says, speaks about these powerful believers. And Allah says, they are the ones whose sides refuse to actually lay down on those beds. They move themselves off the bed, the beddings, in order to stand up in prayer for the Almighty at night, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fearing Him and having hope in His mercy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us.